Hi everyone, I earned my first $40 in the first 30 minutes today and now I am waiting for another job. So I just got my second job. This is the job that popped up. I'm hiding the name and the full address. I'm actually nine minutes away from them, but um, this job is at 12 right now, it's 11. So I might have to wait another hour the customer is not answering the phone even though I called two times so that means I have to wait an hour. I'm checking on Google Maps what the next location would look like. So I usually use Google Maps to see what kind of house or apartment it's going to be. Usually I don't worry about the apartments but I do worry about the houses. Um, if it's a really old house that means it's going to probably be a lot of work. If it's a newer type of house, everything is already wired correctly. I just have to connect the right cables together to make the signal reach wherever they want the signal to go for their Wi-Fi. And in my last video, I said I do DoorDash when I have free time. It's actually Saturday today, but DoorDash is not working in this area. In my next video, I will be most likely revealing my next job that I'm gonna explore. And they actually pay 40 to 60 an hour every hour that you're working. Unlike cable technicians, you only get paid per job, not per hour. I'm gonna go earlier because I can't wait any longer. It's raining. Okay, I'm here. I don't think anyone is home. But I'm gonna go check anyway. I'm gonna eat some of my crackers. Where's that water? To look more alive. Let's see how long it takes me to make $40 here. Probably look like I have a diaper, but notice the holes. Changing the fittings, doing tests. Okay, so we actually have two coming out of the house. They're going up into the roof. This one signal changing the lens. This is the one that was already connected. So I just finished the last house and it took 40 minutes to make $40. We add everything up together. It's obviously not gonna be 40 an hour, but good for a good morning. Here, I just wanted to show I was chilling and then I decided to check my phone. This is everyone's nightmare. I quickly checked Google Maps. Of course, it's 23 minutes away. 150, let's see how long that takes. Two thirteen finished. So I just got lucky on this job. Um, everything else was plugged in and working. It was just one of the TV boxes weren't working, and it was actually a pretty minor issue. So yeah, we got lucky. So now we wait again. I get to chill and sleep and be bored. Another not the best job. New Connect triple at five to six. Two boxes plus Wi-Fi plus phone and it's 25 minutes away. Who would have thought? Never mind. Plans changed. I did not drive all the way out there. Instead, I called and talked to my dispatch. Apparently, somebody really messed it up. This does happen. At least I found out what the issue is. Waste a lot of time. 20 minutes. So yeah, now I'm gonna wait again for a different job. 
DoorDash is not working in the area. So it's 4 p.m. now and I just got my fourth job, which um, is actually supposed to be at 5. I'm gonna go eat. No. It's raining and it's getting dark. It's 517. That took about 15 minutes to install, but searching probably 20 minutes, if not more. This apartment is so complex. These elevators, they go to the same floors, but the floors are split, and only on this level you are able to switch sides. Now we're waiting for another job. So it's already 6 and I still am waiting for a job. Let's see what happens. So right now it's 6.34 and they still haven't given me a job. I have till 7 but I don't want to wait so I'm going to start going home. And if they give me a job very last minute, um, that's just not nice. So basically closing with 4 jobs for the day. This was my only day of work of the, for the whole week. I just want to clarify, I recorded this when cable technician contractor jobs are out of season. However, it is still relatable even when this, these jobs are in season and at the peak season. You will have both good and bad jobs, um, fast and really time consuming jobs. And all in all, it's just a very flaky job, unreliable in some ways. Um, for people who have set goals, it can throw you off a lot because one week you'll have this much money, another week you'll have a different amount, and um, yeah. I try to not sugarcoat anything, just show the realities of this job. I'm not the type of person to enjoy this job because I actually have a set goal and I don't like flaky jobs anymore. And I'm going to look for more sta stability. I'm definitely going to be more picky now. And um, if anything says this much amount per job, I'm not going to take it. Because it feels like a scam a little bit. 